after having surgery that went wrong, um, when I woke up, I realised I had a catheter then. Um, I don't remember too much of it then because I was quite sedated, but as the days went on, it actually turned out to be hell. That's the only word I can think of to describe it. Um, to add to the problem, I used to have these bladder spasms and um, they did put me on some medication, but they were used to last for about an hour and a half sometimes. And um, all I can say is, um, when my husband was there or my family, um, they just didn't know what to do. Um, the screams used to be heard from the, ca the car park, just under the windows. But there was nothing they could do. They were all very attentive and, you know, you know, felt for me. But there was nothing I could take, because I was on, on full medication for all these things anyway. Um, it got that bad if someone had said to me, look, take this tablet and you'll go to sleep forever, I'd have been quite happy to do that. So when I came home, of course, after all that time, I couldn't sit comfortable in any chairs. We tried everything. Um, I was very down, very depressed about the, the catheter. Also, during all the time when I had the catheter in, I used to have a lot of UTIs. Um, my district nurses um, used to come and take um, urine samples and I had to go on antibiotics which used to cause quite violent sickness. Not only did it have a great effect on my life, it was very very hard for my husband and my family to watch. Jeffrey, um, well he was my rock because when I came home I did nothing, I just sat really and tried to walk about and Jeffrey had to do everything and I could see sometimes it was far too much for him because he was my full time carer. The day they said it's healed, I was just over the moon. And I can remember hugging the little chap, the little surgeon chap, the urology man, and it was absolute heaven. The day I got it out, and um, that was amazing. And I came home, I sat in the car, I was so comfortable, I could sit on the chair comfortable. It was just a little bit sore, which was only natural, but I felt like a new woman. It was amazing. And um, I really haven't looked back. Um, I've had no after effects. Um, and I practiced holding my urine in, which I was told to do. And uh, you know it's been really good. But I now go out for lunch, and I, I've managed to go back to the swimming pool and um, visit friends. And I can do lots of things now around the house. All I can say is if Andy can ever find something that you know will lead to not having catheters or an easier way to go about it, they will save a lot of people a lot of pain.